Let's do an energy read for the sign of Aries. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's turn into Aries. What's going on with Aries? What do they need to know? Turn into the Aries energy. What's going on with Aries? What's Aries want to know? the Aries energy that's tuning in want to know. Aries, Aries, Aries. Tell me about this Aries. What does Aries want to know about? chariot could be a cancer energy and uh seven of cups seven of cups many choices seeing this chariot looking at its many choices this chariot looks like he's going somewhere let's see what's uh what's going on what is cancer sorry what is Aries? Uh, Ace of Swords on the bottom. You could be looking for a truth of some kind. A new beginning, a new truth. Let's see. Tell me more about this. Why is the Seven of Cups and the Chariot here for the Aries energy? Plus, King of Swords. Right on top of the Chariot. Hmm. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here for the Aries energy? Three of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay. Choices, movement, truth, walking away, walking away from a three of swords moment, that's a heartache, someone hurt you, is it this king of swords, the bearer of truth, was he not honest, if that's you looking at your choices, it's the King of Swords looking at you, going towards your choices. Walking away from the heartache. Okay. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about this Cancer energy. What's going on with them? Ace, Ace of Wands is what's going on with you. That's you wanting a, uh, a, new, a new passionate beginning. The three of pentacles on the bottom. You want a new passionate beginning where you work with someone else. Maybe you weren't getting that with this uh, king of swords. He could have been a Gemini. I don't know. An air sign. Um, tell me more about this king of swords. How would this uh, Aries know this King of Swords is their sword, man? It would be Seven of Pentacles. Someone that uh, you worked with, or you had to put a, you had to put a lot of work into to that relationship with them to make it work. Big surprise. Justice on the bottom. Maybe you want justice. How would this uh, Aries know that this is the their King of Swords energy? Why is that? 
this eight of uh, pentacles came out. Work, 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 work. Lots of work. Maybe you worked with them. Maybe you owned a business together. Maybe just being with them felt like a lot of work, time, effort. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords here? But they're uh, walking away, walking away from a heartache. How will they know this is their story? Why did they walk away? I mean, because it was a lot of work and shit, I get it, but like... What's going on with that Eight of Cups? What are, what are they walking away to? Like... Knight of Wands. Queen of Swords on the bottom. Knight of Wands. That's movement. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups and Three of Swords for my Aries energy. How's the Knight of Wands here? For their moving on energy. It's hard. Three of Cups. Knight, oh, sorry, Page of Cups on the bottom. Walked away, totally stabbed through the heart. Tell me a little more about this. What else do they need to know? Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. The tower on the tower on the bottom. Alright. Obviously this relationship was something you had to get out of. Feeling like you definitely worked with this person or owned a business with them. I don't know if someone stepped out, whatever it was, three swords through the heart. And you took you took what you had and left. You walked away. Eh, you didn't just walk away. You got on your horse and you uh, galloped out of there. And you took your stick with you. Because you, you were like, three of cups to your nine of cups. That's your wish. To have your cups filled. I'm trying to get away from this tower. This was a tower. This was a disaster. This was like the ending of... A business, a home, literally, like, destroyed. Okay. Hierophant. Why'd the Hierophant just fall out? Justice on the bottom. Why'd the Hierophant fall out? What do you want them to know? The tower. Why'd the tower just fall out? Why'd the tower fall out for Ari's energy? All right, this person was like, you, you thought it was your past life soulmate. You built a home with them. This isn't some uh, dinky relationship. You could have children. Definitely a business or something of some kind. Your home, your business, destroyed. Cups that you had once thought were filled, empty. Eight cups you walked away from, that's like, you had to, it seems like. Because, uh, because, uh, as a knight of, uh, wands, I mean, a knight of wands, that's you. That's you moving, moving on towards choices. Choices. You had choices for a passionate new beginning. Now 
the bottom of the deck. I have strength. I have ten of cups. And I have a king of pentacles. I'm starting to think you're moving towards perhaps a king of pentacles. To find uh, your, your fulfillment. Yeah, beneath that was the king of uh, cups. Alright. Anything that you want to tell the Aries energy watching this about the possible future? Queen of Swords. Alright? Queen of Swords. You are in a divine, in a, you, what you thought was a divine partnership. You thought you were in a divine partnership. This King of Swords energy uh, put you through a tower. And you walked away. Now, you're in this energy. But I like the Queen of Swords. You know, she has one sword raised, one lowered. She's uh, full of knowledge. She don't take no shit. And that's how you have to be. Or that's how you have to be right now. Yeah. Ten of, uh... Ten of wands on the bottom. You're this now because... You've carried a burden. Yeah. You carried a burden. You were on the... Seven of wands underneath that. You are fighting, fighting. Maybe you, uh ghosted this person. Maybe you left in the middle of the night, you know, when they were at work or something. Ace of Swords. Because you're looking for truth and you, you didn't get it there. Underneath that, the Wheel of Fortune. Trusting that uh, your destiny lies somewhere else. Or that whatever happened is part of destiny, a bigger plan. Alright. Let's end this on a good note. Um, they're going to be in uh, Queen of Swords energy. What, um, is there advice or something we can give for the Aries energy who's relating to this, resonating with this, that, uh, about, uh, the future? Tell me something for the Aries energy watching this for the, uh, the future. It's gonna be happening for them. Do we know what the... I guess we all create our own destiny. Well, what's a possible future for this Aries energy? What's a possible outcome for the future energy of this Aries? Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Nine of Wands, under that, the Three of Wands. Alright, what that tells me, possible future outcome, we create our destinies, of course. Two of Cups, that's a great card. Coming together with someone, sharing your cup with someone. But uh, you're going to be defensive. So, your advice for the future is, you're going to have choices. You're going to make a choice. You will you will make choices. You're not going to be indecisive if you were before. Like, you won't be. You'll make choices. You're going to be defensive, probably, in general. And maybe your advice is to put your defense down, you know? I'm not going to tell you not to, <laughs> to, you know, watch your back and be aware and, you know go around with your heart on your sleeve after you've been through something like this. Uh, but, yeah. Don't be super... You, try to not be, you know, so defensive that you miss an opportunity to share a cup with someone that might be deserving. You know? Because you're, you're going to be in Queens of, Queen of Sword energy. So that makes sense. Um, let me ask this. 
tell me something that will help the Aries energy resonating with this know. Like, like, this is the energy that I can let my defense down with. Two of Swords. <sighs> two of Cups. So Two of Swords is like keeping yourself blindfolded, kind of. That you saying, like, shut up, Melissa. Like, um, don't tell me who or what, when, where to open my heart to. <laughs> Hermit on the bottom. So it could be a person, it could be a Virgo. Ugh, it could be a Virgo, um, or someone with that Virgo type of energy, um, or someone that, that you look at like a hermetic type of energy, right? Someone who maybe, maybe is, uh, intelligent, good with animals, can spend time with themselves, you know? Who's not like, uh, Maybe they're a little more introverted. Give me, give me a, a, that's funny. Oh, Ace of Swords, you're just full of, wow, you're just, you're very, you're on the defense. And this is telling me, you're not going to let your defense down until you really, really feel like, like, it's a person that you can trust is honest, and it's offering a truly honest new beginning, and doesn't remind you of this energy. All right, and Wheel of Fortune underneath that, kind of telling me like, like you you will decide your own fate and destiny. Um, I'm just gonna ask one more time. Can I just get a card to maybe give an idea of how the Aries energy will know they can let their differences down with like, oh. King of Cups, <laughs> King of Cups. So. It could be a water energy, um, someone who in their, in their upright energy is just full of love, abundant in, in offering their cup, you know, maybe you won't have to guess what they're thinking, they will be very upfront and honest, and therefore you'll be able to let down your defenses. Maybe the, what this is saying, what all these are telling me is that uh, when you're ready, you'll be ready. You're, you're not ready right now to meet somebody. But in the future, um, I see a King of Cup energy. And, um, and on the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles. Belly of Swords on the The Nine of Pentacles. That's funny. Alright, right now you're an independent energy and you could give two forts. But in the future, let down your defenses, maybe. Right now, your defenses are up. Yeah, this must be a pretty recent um, thing. You're in independent energy right now. You'll be fine, Aries. Um, sorry this wasn't a more uplifting, I guess, reading, but it is what it is. This is the energy you're in right now. You're in sword mode, and your defense is up, and it's because whatever you had was... Uh, taken down, man, like a tower, super, super intense, like, the worst stuff you feel like you could go through, like, losing everything, so, yeah, you're in defense mode, you're independent energy right now, but there is an um, opportunity for you in the future to open your heart again, so just, um, yeah, keep your head up, keep doing your independent thing right now, rebuild, and um, one day, open your heart again to that, to that King of Cups energy that you deserve. Love you, Aries. See you next time.